et réfugiés. And I'm here with my two colleagues, the Honorable Sean Fraser and Karina Gould. Écoutez, le passeport canadien, c'est l'un des documents de voyage les plus puissants et les plus respectés au monde. Celui-ci ouvre des portes à travers le monde entier pour des millions de Canadiens. Certains vont l'utiliser pour visiter leurs proches ou explorer le monde et partir à l'aventure. Pour d'autres, le passeport marque la dernière étape de leur parcours d'immigration en devenant citoyen canadien et en rejoignant une société diversifiée et inclusive qui valorise la démocratie, la liberté et les droits de l'homme. Today, the ministers are here to tell us about the changes our government has made to improve our Canadian passports. These changes would not only better reflect who we are as person, but also strengthen the safety and the security of Canadian travelers. So, je suis vraiment heureuse et honorée ce matin de donner la parole à la ministre de la Famille des Enfants, l'honorable Karina Gould. Merci, Marie-France. Bonjour tout le monde. Je suis très heureuse d'être ici avec mon collègue Sean Fraser, le ministre de l'Immigration, des Réfugiés et de la Citoyenneté pour le dévoilement, dévoilement du nouveau passeport canadien. As Service Canada has been working diligently to issue and deliver passports to Canadians, IRCC has been leading the way on the new design of this passport, and I look forward to the grand reveal. Our passport is recognized around the world, and this new design will not only be more secure and reliable, but I believe it will also continue to inspire pride in the hearts of those who carry it. Sean will have more to say about this in a few minutes, but I do want to speak to the current passport. As passports are issued throughout the summer and months ahead, some Canadians will still receive the older version of the passport as Service Canada works through remain and printing capacity comes online. For those who have recently received an up-to-date You will still be carrying the older version of the passport for years, myself included. I got a 10-year passport back in 2020, so I'm going to keep going with that older generation. In fact, depending on when you receive it, you might have it for up to 10 years. And it's important to know that the previous generation of this passport remains secure and reliable. Nous continuerons à offrir aux Canadiens une expérience de haute qualité depuis le moment où ils présentent leur demande jusqu'au moment où ils reçoivent leur nouveau passeport. Je reconnais que cette norme de service s'est dégradée l'année dernière. Nous avons connu une année au cours de laquelle la demande refoulée des voyages a entraîné une augmentation massive de la demande des services de passeport qui a son tour créé une arrière nous avons déployé tous les efforts possibles et imaginables pour éliminer ce retard et nous avons rétabli les services de passeport au niveau de qualité que les Can Canadiens attendent. Since October of last year, Service Canada has been delivering nearly all passports within our 10 and 20 day target with approximately 99% issued within service standards. And the recent labor disruption in the federal public service has caused Service Canada to enter a bit of a catching up period. During the labor disruption, we did lose a week of processing time. So there may be some longer lineups and processing times during this recovery. However, we have yet to see this and we are fully prepared. Entre temps, nous avons apporté d'autres améliorations pour aider les Canadiens à bénéficier d'un service plus moderne et plus efficace. En mars, nous avons lancé un nouvel outil de vérification du statut des demandes du passeport. Il s'agit d'un outil facile à utiliser qui permet aux Canadiens de vérifier le statut de leur demande de passeport en ligne 24 heures sur 24. Les Canadiens peuvent s'attendre à ce que le gouvernement prenne d'autres mesures importantes pour moderniser le système de passeport. Et Service Canada est prête à lancer le nouveau livret en temps opportun. Merci et je cède maintenant la parole à Sean. Uh, merci, Karina. Merci, Marie-France, pour être ici. Uh, thank you so much, everyone. Uh, today we've got uh, exciting news as we uh, unveil the new design of the uh, Canadian passport. 
Uh, our passport is one of the most travel, trusted travel documents anywhere in the world, in part because of the relationships that we have with so many other countries, uh, but also because of the technologies and improvements that we continue to make in our travel documents that protect their authenticity and the security of our, our uh, passport. J'ai le plaisir de dévoiler les passeports de prochaine génération du Canada, reconçus qui comportent une nouvelle apparence améliorée et des meilleures caractéristiques de sécurité. En plus de la nouvelle couverture, le page antérieur contient des éléments qui mettent en évidence le paysage, les faunes dans les quatre, euh, quatre saisons et le peuple diversifié du Canada. I'm very pleased to be able to unveil Canada's redesigned next generation passport that adds a new and improved look as well as many improved security features. Along with the new cover, the inside pages feature artwork highlighting Canada's diverse people, landscapes and wildlife across the four seasons. One of the most uh, amazing parts of uh, our country is that we are, are so proud for, of our uh, natural landscapes. It's a key part of our heritage, from all I call home to the Arctic, from the Rockies to the prairies, uh, the historic district in Old Quebec and the Redwoods in BC, not to mention Canada's many lakes, rivers and parks. Uh, we're very lucky to call this place home and I think it's one of the most amazing countries in the world. La nouvelle conception du passeport du Canada reflètera la beauté naturelle de notre pays, notre identité multiculturelle et notre esprit d'équipe, et c'est en mettant en évidence des caractéristiques dist distinctives euh, comme nos lacs d'eau euh, douce et nos aurores boréales, ainsi que les contributions des autochtones qui ajoutent une couleur canadienne au passeport. The improved passport is going to have new, updated features, including state-of-the-art security features that include a polycar uh, This is the same technology that's used to protect our currency and driver's license for those who are wondering what it means. Additionally, passport holders' personal information will now be laser engraved and printed with ink, which is going to make the data page more durable and resistant to tampering and counterfeiting. And some other features include a kinogram over the main photo, a custom see-through window with a secondary image of the passport holder, a variable laser image, and temperature-sensitive ink feature that will assure we're dealing with authentic documents. The new secure security features are going to help ensure Canadian passports remain one of the most secure, reliable, and universally accepted travel documents anywhere in the world. The new characteristics de sécurité permettront de s'assurer que le passeport canadien reste l'un des documents de voyage les plus fiables, les plus sécurisés et les plus acceptés universellement. So now, uh, the moment that you'll all be waiting for, if you'll join us here as we unveil some of the, uh, the design features, I'm Mary France and Karina, if you will. Um, look, folks, uh, this is what um, the new Canadian passport is going to look like. I've had a chance to leaf through the, uh, the travel document. It's a pretty uh, uh, special document, not only that it captures some of Canada's natural heritage, but uh, uh, of course the security features that I described as well uh, are going to position Canada as a leader when it comes to protecting the authenticity of our travel documents over the course of the next generation. Uh, these new passports are going to start to be produced this summer and rollout details will be announced uh, uh, very soon at, uh, in the near future. Uh, the current passport, as Minister Gould mentioned, remains secure and reliable and ca Canadians can still use it until its expiry date. When you submit a renewal application, the passport program is going to provide you with a new one. And before we take questions, I'd like to add just uh, one more thing. Uh, starting this fall, Canadians will be able to renew their passports through an online application, which will include payment processing and uploading their passport photo as well. Et à compter de cet automne, les Canadiens pourront renouveler leur passeport en ligne, ce qui inclura le traitement de paiement et le téléchargement de leurs photos de passeport. 
the federal government is going to continue to work to improve our services and security for Canadians. This passport update is one of the many efforts that's going to improve travel and security. And we continue to work toward a country that reflects the shared values of all Canadians. We have so much to celebrate about being Canadian, whether it's our amazing, amazing landscapes, our natural environment, or to the values of diversity and inclusion. My sense is that the new passport design, which was the result of consultation with a number of different groups that provided feedback, uh, reflects who we are as Canadians and is going to help ensure the security of our travel document and universal acceptance for many years to come. Thank you so much. Merci tout le monde. C'est un plaisir d'être ici avec vous ce matin. Excellent. Thank you. Are you going to MC? Do we have questions now? Well, yes. I think Excellent. We'll now uh, start the questions, first from the floor and then we'll rotate to the line. Um, it's one question, one follow-up. Please give your name and outlet first. Thank you, Bahoos. Uh, Chris Nardi from the National Post. So first question, I'm looking at these uh, these new designs. So it looks like we replaced a lot of you know, the iconic imagery of, of Canada's past with uh, a little bit more, how to say, uh, non-facial uh, expressions. Explain to me a bit that decision, why you removed historic moments and replaced them with this. Do you want, you want me to? We can take Sure. Yeah. Uh, look, I'll, I'll go first, and if uh, uh, Karina has anything to supplement, we'll uh, allow her to uh, uh, share a few thoughts as well. The design was a result of, of a consultation with a number of different government departments and stakeholders, uh, including Canadian heritage, including communities, and we tried to take the feedback about uh, what represents Canada. Uh, one of the things that we heard is that we want to celebrate our, our diversity and inclusion. We want to celebrate our natural environment uh, through the consultation process and try to bake those elements into the design. Uh, one of the other items that uh, is lost on a lot of people who don't think about passport design every day uh, is the fact that we need to continually change the designs. Uh, countries around the world, uh, when they update their passports, tend not to just tinker with the edges but go for entirely new themes as part of the security features. When you consistently update uh, wholesale uh, the details uh, from a design point of view for your passport, including the illustrations that find their way into the document, it makes it much harder to counterfeit. Uh, it can take a number of years for sophisticated uh, participants in uh, sort of uh, criminal organizations or counterfeit operations uh, to actually catch up to new designs. And by continuing to update wholesale the contents of the passport, we make it more difficult for those who would seek to take advantage of Canada's travel documents. Not much more to add other than I, I think when you look at the images here, I mean, these are, are fairly traditional Canadian images. I mean, if you look at polar bears and people jumping into a lake and birds in the winter, I mean, I think it really captures the spirit of who we are as Canadians. And then um, in terms of production and cost, give me an idea. Is the production more complicated? Is it going to be a longer delay before you receive the passport and will it impact the cost uh, for a passport application? So there will be no um, impact to the cost of the passport. The, you know, the cost remains the same. Um, one thing that's important to know for the rollout is that if you go get a passport today, you're probably not going to get this new design. We still have existing stock um, of the previous generation. And so we don't need everybody rushing out to go get this new passport. It will be rolled out uh, over the course of the next year. And so there's no way for you to know if you're applying, if you're going to get the older version or the new version. Both are excellent, uh, both are going to be great, but we're going to do it in a way that manages the existing inventory so that you know we're using taxpayers' dollars effectively. Uh, hi. Uh, hi, Tom Perry, CBC. Um, why did you get rid of the historic imagery? Did you hear complaints from some stakeholders that they took uh, offense to some of the passport? I'm just wondering why you moved away from historic images to more generic ones. Um, and so there's there's no feedback we received that says people uh, found our, our history offensive. I, I think to uh, just shine a, a further light on the response I gave previously, uh, there's really two, two elements that led to the, the passport design. Uh, one was the consultation process where we received a significant amount of feedback on the need to celebrate our natural environment to celebrate the diversity of Canada's peoples more so than uh, simply uh, uh, historical artifacts or, or uh, symbols that uh, we're all still very proud of and that remain part of our, our passport that's valid today. 
uh, but we did want to go for uh, a completely new design in part to protect the security features. If you maintain elements that may have existed in the previous design, it becomes easier to counterfeit Canadian passport, which is something we want to protect against. So when we go through uh, the next renewal many years from now, I expect there will be further changes that uh, modify the design in a significant way. Uh, and this was meant to reflect a different part of Canada's heritage uh, in particular our natural environment and the diversity of our, our people and, and wildlife. Can, can I possibly get that answer in French? Is it possible for... Uh, I'm just wondering... J'ai envie de pratiquer mon français, mais if you also want to, Karina. C'est important de réfléchir la réponse de la personne qui participait dans le processus de consultation. Les personnes qui participaient dans le processus dit c'est très important pour célébrer le... Uh, l'environnement du Canada, la diversité de, de nos communautés et la, la communauté autochtone uh, aussi. Uh, uh, C'est le, le temps pour un, uh, un nouveau document comme le, le passeport. Uh, C'est important pour replacer le, le thème aussi, pour protéger la, la sécurité de le passeport. Ce n'est pas facile pour uh, créer un, uh, un document comme ça avec des nouveaux features. Uh, I hope that was okay. My French is still a work in progress. Maybe, Karine, if you yeah. want to add anything. Je vais seulement ajouter quelque chose qui est important, c'est que uh, le nouveau design du passeport, c'est aussi par réfléchir des nouveaux uh, fonds. Et comme ministre Fraser a mentionné, c'est important de renouveler le dessin et comment on, uh, comment ça, ça, um, uh, l'image du passeport pour assurer qu'on protège les documents sécuritaires d'identité des Canadiens contre les gens qui veulent uh, limiter. Alors ça, c'est quelque chose qui est important. Um, et peut-être je vais seulement ajouter, uh, ce n'est pas une question partisane, c'est une question uh, de réfléchir l'image du Canada. Um, et je crois que les Canadiens, quand ils um, quand ils vont voir euh, le nouveau dessin du passeport, ils vont sentir euh, ce euh, sentiment euh, de fierté d'être Canadien, de notre beauté euh, naturelle que nous avons et la diversité de notre population. You said in French this is not a partisan issue. What did you mean by that? Uh, well, I think a couple of the questions have been suggesting that there is a partisan aspect to this, and I think it's important to say that this is not partisan. The design of this passport, you know, started uh, 10 years ago, and this is really about ensuring the security of, um, of the document, and it's about ensuring that, you know, we're updating um, the document to make sure that it's harder for fraudsters and criminal organizations to do this and so I just think it's clear because I think some of the questions have been maybe leading in that way. Can I just ask one more question and I promise I'll hand it over. I, I can't tell from this distance but the crest on the cover of the passport, are there any changes made to that? On the coat of arms? The coat of arms. Yeah, the coat of arms. Yeah. Has there been any changes made the, to that? The coat of arms is, is the same. Right. Uh, the coat of arms is still the, the coat of arms. Uh, the only, it's actually the exact same as it was. Um, the crown is uh, Queen Elizabeth's crown because these design and documents uh, were done ahead of time. And of course, the, the new king's crown was only revealed uh, recently. So, um, you know, but if you look on, when you look on the inside of the passport, um, it is, um, King Charles is mentioned there. So unfortunately, because these things take a long time to do uh, and events being as they were, there were some things that were able to be updated in time and, and others that were not. Awesome, no questions from the line? Uh, Minister, I wanted to follow up on the um, online applications for uh, passport renewals. Can you give us any more information about how that will work, who would qualify, and what kind of impact this would have on people's ability to get a passport quickly? Uh, do you want or you want me to? We can do it together. Yeah. So, well, you, why don't you go first? I'll... Uh, so IRCC will be launching uh, the new online application. It will only be for renewals. So it's only for people who have had a passport previously um, and so that is going to start that way. We still need uh, folks who um, are applying for a passport for the first time and that includes children um, to go to a passport office or apply in the mail and it's important to remember that for uh, children under the age of 18 even if you've had a previous uh, passport it's not considered a renewal it's considered to be a new application for security reasons and protection reasons for children. Um, but if there's more details, then perhaps you can share them. Uh, uh, only to, to
To share that uh, the online location we anticipate will be available this fall and uh, we expect it will create advantages from processing time with the ability to upload your passport directly for the purpose of the renewal. How is this going to help you out at Service Canada when you have situations with big lines and that sort of thing? Are, are people going to see a difference in the way that in the speed in which they're able to access their passports? Yeah, so to note that Service Canada is completely back within service standards when it comes to issuing passports, but it was one of the lessons learned uh, from the experience last spring and summer that uh, we needed to modernize the passport delivery uh, system in Canada. Um, and so we've taken a number of steps, I mean, both internally within Service Canada um, and there's the new online status checker as well which we've seen you know has led to thousands of people each week checking the status of their application and a reduction in call volumes because the majority of calls that are made to uh, the passport line are for a status update and so adding this additional tool uh, means that for people who are just doing a simple renewal of a valid passport, uh, it will be a lot quicker and easier to process as well because we already have that data in the system. Um, you know, simple renewals are, are fairly easy to process. One thing that's important to remember is that last year when we were experiencing the challenges, only about 15% of applications were, were renewals. About 80 to 85% were for first time passport holders, but even still, you know, Having that simpler renewal process uh, will make the whole flow easier. And just a reminder that this July is the anniversary of the first 10-year passport applications. So we do anticipate that over the coming 12 to 18 months, we're going to see a higher volume of renewals. And we've already started to see that in terms of the applications coming in. So I think this is another great tool to add to our toolbox that will ensure a smooth and uh, pleasant experience for Canadians when they apply. Can you just remind me quickly if you've run uh, pilot projects on this and whether there were any kinks that were, you kind of had to work out? There, there have been pilot projects um, on this. Uh, they've mostly been internal, and so the reason why, um, you know, there's a comfort in, like, we would never launch this project publicly until uh, there is an assurance that those kinks have been worked through. Amazing. This will be the last question, and then we invite media to line up and take a look at the new passports. Good morning. Olivia Stefanovic, CBC News. If you could answer in both English and French, that would be very much appreciated. I'm wondering what kind of message it sends that you've completely removed the historical images that are on the current passports, particularly the box and the Vimy Ridge Memorial. What kind of message does that send to Canadians? Okay. Uh, I'll and you'll have to be patient with my French, the work in progress. Um, what I wanted to do is reflect the feedback that we heard during the consultation process. The consultation process asked us to build into the design uh, certain considerations around the importance of Canada's natural environment, the diversity of Canada's people, and the need to celebrate Indigenous communities. Uh, the fact that we've changed a different theme reflects in part a desire to uh, protect the security of the passport with changed images because it does make it easier when you maintain sim the same images for a significant period of time for counterfeiters to uh, abuse the document and to produce uh, fakes. Uh, but to be absolutely clear, uh, we're extremely proud of Canada's history. I don't think there's a single person, regardless of their uh, political perspective, uh, who isn't extremely proud of uh, the Marathon of Hope, uh, who doesn't want to continue to commemorate the service of our veterans. Uh, there's a number of different ones see on our travel documents, on our uh, the symbols that we affix to federally owned buildings sometimes that we honor Canada's history as well as our natural heritage and our people. Uh, the decision to move towards uh, the current passport design reflects the feedback that we heard during the consultation process and gives us an opportunity to adjust the theme in a, a wholesale way in order to protect the security of the document, which is of the utmost importance. Uh, and this will be a world leading uh, uh, travel document from a security point of view. Je vais essayer en français. Uh, C'est très important pour le, le document de réfléchir le, uh, les, les discussions avec les, les parties prenantes, avec les, uh, les personnes qui participaient dans le, le processus de, de consultation. Uh, les, les personnes qui participaient dans le processus ont dit que uh, c'est très important pour uh, célébrer uh, le, le, le patrimoine du Canada et l'environnement le, naturel uh, des communautés autochtones et des uh, diversités. De, de, de nos pays, partout dans notre pays. 
euh, aussi, euh, c'est essentiel pour protéger la sécurité de les documents, de changer les thèmes euh, après de, quel, quelques ans euh, pour, euh, euh, pour, pour assurer le, la sécurité de les documents parce que c'est difficile pour euh, créer un euh, document comme ça pour euh, la personne qui n'est pas le gouvernement du Canada. Uh, it's, uh, uh, hopefully, you'll be able to, to gather from French the, the similar answer. Uh, but, oh, c'est très important uh, aussi pour protéger l'histoire du Canada. Mais ce n'est pas possible just dans le, le, le document comme un passeport. Uh, nous utilisons des opportunités avec uh, le, la monnaie, avec uh, l'édifice uh, fédéral, avec des, des autres uh, features ou documents uh, dans le, le uh, gouvernement du Canada pour célébrer notre histoire. Uh, chaque personne dans notre pays est très fière de l'histoire du Canada, incluant uh, Terry Fox, uh, incluant à le à Vimy Ridge et, et des uh, contributions de, de les soldats du Canada. Uh, mais uh, c'est important pour changer le thème, pour protéger la sécurité des documents et réfléchir le, le processus de consultation. And you know, I, I might just add that this is a normal process. Like about every 10 years, uh, the government of Canada updates the passport specifically for the reasons why Sean was saying. I mean, we need to make sure that the technology is current. Um, you'll notice that it's it's multicolored, whereas previously that was not something that was part of the passport design. It has, you know, very strong security features in here, which is going to make the Canadian passport a world-leading document. Um, but I, I, I know that sometimes you're looking to create a story, but I think in this regard, it's just about creating a beautiful document for which Canadians can be proud of. And it's important that that's continually updated to make sure that we're keeping fraudsters and criminals at bay while protecting the ability of Canadians to travel with one of the most documents in the world. Alors, comme j'ai mentionné en anglais, uh, il y a beaucoup de nouveaux caractéristiques qui renforcent la sécurité euh, de notre passeport, qui est un des plus euh, fiables euh, documents de voyage dans le monde. Euh, je crois que les Canadiens peuvent être vraiment fiers. Je sais qu'il y a peut-être un intérêt de créer une histoire ici, mais euh, le message qu'on envoie aux Canadiens, c'est que on est en train de euh, dévoiler un nouveau passeport qui est plus sécuritaire, qui va assurer que le Canada soit une leader euh, dans le voyage des personnes, que leurs documents soient fiables et partout dans le monde. Et je crois qu'il y a des caractéristiques qui promouvent euh, cette sécurité que les anciens euh, passeports, euh, mais vraiment que les Canadiens peuvent être fiers de ce nouveau document. Et quand vous le voyez, vous, vous allez voir, c'est vraiment quelque chose de, de beauté euh, qui reflète euh, notre fierté comme Canadiens euh, et des, des autres images. Mais c'est un processus normal qui passe presque chaque dix ans. How exactly would you say these images reflect Canada's diversity? Aside from the picture of the Arctic, there aren't any indigenous symbols that I can see, any indigenous peoples. So how exactly does this actually reflect Canada's diversity? Not English and French. Yes. There. <laughs> um, th there are, there's other photos not on display. If, if you'd like, we'd, uh, I have a copy of the, uh, the document here we can leave through. We just picked a, a sample of some of the images for the display purposes here today. Uh, but a number, of the, a number of the photos include uh, people from different regions of Canada, and I'll, I'll be happy to share the document uh, up close if others want to take a peek before we, uh, uh, we take off from the airport today. Thank you. That concludes all the time that we have for questions. Again, please line up over here to take a look at the new passports. Thank you. Oh, they're over there. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Excellent. Merci tout le monde. Thank you.